Meals on Wheels is a national network that provides nutritious meals for seniors and other people who are homebound, such as disabled, um, people who cannot get out and shop for their own groceries, people who don't have anyone nearby who can help them shop for groceries, people who can't prepare their own meals for some reason, again, a disability, or if you're elderly, maybe you can't stand long enough at a stove to prepare your meals. So Meals on Wheels is a wonderful program that helps to make sure that people who are unable to take care of their own nutrition needs get the nutritious food that they need. But do you qualify for Meals on Wheels? How do you do that? Well, stick with me and we're going to find out all the details. Hi, it's Robin with SeniorSafetyAdvice.com. Tune into our channel for tips and hints for seniors and caregivers about aging and play safely. So, Meals on Wheels, as I said, it's a national network. It's funded in part by donations, so make sure that if you're trying to find a place that you would like to donate to, maybe at the end of the year, that, oh, this is a very worthwhile cause. Also, they need a lot of volunteers, so I'm going to put in a plug right now that you should volunteer if you have the chance to, because oftentimes the people who receive Meals on Wheels only see that one person who brings them the meals on a daily basis. And so sometimes that social contact is the one thing that keeps them from being extremely lonely and isolated. Another thing that the social contact provides is a safety check for the person who's receiving the, the meals. And this is because, again, they can't often get out, so if they aren't answering the door when they're expected to be there in order to receive a meal, then that person who is delivering the meal knows who to contact in order to do a welfare check to find out whether the person is okay. So the Meals on Wheels program provides a great deal of peace and comfort for adult children of people maybe who don't live near them, that, these, that they are sure that somebody is at least checking on their, apparent, their parent on a daily basis. Eligibility for Meals on Wheels can vary according to the program. Sometimes there is an income threshold that needs to be met in order to receive the meals. Sometimes the program is geared strictly toward a particular population, such as seniors with chronic health concerns. Sometimes the program limitations are based on the fact that they don't have enough volunteers. So again, there's my plug for making sure that you volunteer if you have some time. In general, in order to qualify for Meals on Wheels, you need to be at least 60 years old. You need to be disabled and or homebound. You need to be unable to shop for your own food and or unable to prepare food if someone else shops for you. Generally speaking, though, you need to not have anybody who is available nearby to help you with your meals. And lastly, you need to live within the delivery area. Now, some of the programs, and each of them are different from state to state and area to area, so you need to contact Meals on Wheels to find out what it would what they would require for qualifications for your particular circumstances. But in some cases, some of the programs, if the senior qualifies but does not live within that delivery area, they will deliver the meal to a senior center that the person can get the meal from. Although I'm not quite sure how that works because if home, being homebound is part of the requirements, then I'm not sure how you would get out to that senior center to get the meal. But I do know some senior centers have transportation services available, so that must be what the connection is. In order to start receiving Meals on Wheels, you need to contact them and fill out an application. Now, if there's income requirements, there will be things that you'll have to submit to show that you, or to prove your income level. Um, but also, you need to be aware that if you qualify for it, they probably will do a home assessment visit. And part of this reason is to check and see if there are other services that you may qualify for as well that you are not aware of and maybe are not using at that point. So do expect a home visit. It's not that difficult to apply. And once you go through those steps and you are accepted into the program, again, depending on the program's resources and the number of volunteers, 
it's possible that you could start receiving meals within about five days of being accepted into the program. So in order to contact Meals on Wheels, of course you can always use the Google and do a search. So you would want to put in a search term like Meals on Wheels programs near me. The other thing that you can do is call Meals on Wheels America. I'm going to read the number off. It is 1-888-998-6325. And that number, again, I'm going to put it up on the screen and also down in the description, is 888-998-6325. Thank you very much. I hope that this has helped you or a senior loved one who may be needing nutritious meals and just isn't able to get out and get the food for that or isn't able to cook them. So if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And also, please don't forget to subscribe down below. The button's over here in the corner. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. And that way you'll be notified every time we put up an informative video like this one. So until the next video, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.